phonology and phonemics of mother tongue. In this video, we will tackle about phonology, branches of phonology, phonemes, and phonemic representation. Let's talk about phonology. Phonology can be simply defined as the scientific study of the sound system. It pertains to the speaker's knowledge of the sound system of a particular language. In other words, phonology is concerned with how sounds function in a language. This turns out from the belief that there is a system of rules underlies and governs the sound patterns in a language. This justifies why we have some sequences of sounds in a certain language rather than of other sound sequences. For example, in English, we cannot have the sequence of sounds left at the beginning of the words, but we can have words that begin with pele. Therefore, we can have words like play, place, plague, etc. But we cannot have words like elpe, elpes, elpeg, etc. Many of you will ask why. It's because there are certain rules that govern the combination of sounds in English as well as the other systems of sounds. Now let's talk about branches of phonology. First, segmental phonology. It analyzes speech into the grid segments such as phonemes. Second, suprasegmental phonology. It analyzes those features which extend over more than one segment such as intonation and stress. Third, diaconic phonology. It studies the pattern of sound system through the history of language. Fourth, synchronic phonology. It studies the pattern of sound regardless of the process of historical change. Now let's proceed to phonemes. This chart is a phonemic chart. So phonemes are the smallest phonetic units in a language that are capable of conveying a distinction in meaning. Phonemes are abstract mental representation. Phonemes are represented with slashes as you can see in the examples. Examples of phonemes. The word keep contains three phonemes they are ka, e, and pa. Keep also has a meaning which is to have or continue to have in your possession. When we change the word ka phoneme to da phoneme, it would make the word change from keep into deep and it is carrying different meaning which is going or being a long way down from the top or surface. So, if you change a phoneme in a word to another phoneme, it will change the meaning of the word. Let's proceed to phonemic representation. It is the representation or description that captures the characteristics of sounds as they are stored in the mind for normal features. Phoneticians tend to use slashes instead of brackets. This is to indicate that they are distinctive in nature and cannot replace each other. Otherwise, the meaning of the word will change. For example, lit and sit, s and le cannot replace each other without affecting the meaning of the word. Why? It's because sounds have natural characteristics that make them distinctive in character. By distinctiveness, 
we mean the sound's ability to change the meaning of the words. On whole, phonemic representation describes sounds at the level of phonology. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching our video.